Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Martin and welcome to another episode of the Trading 212 £1,000 series. Now, it's been a little bit of time since we've done this. It seems to be my regular intro, is just to say it's been a little bit of time since we did this. So, um, so yeah, basically we're going to hop into it straight away. I'm not going to delve too deep into the past trades as they were quite a while ago. So basically we had the, we had two trades, the, the top two trades were the two trades that we did previously. As you can see, there's a bit a weak difference between the two since because obviously I set um, open and closes. I believe actually I might have left the Bitcoin one open. That's why that's I, I don't know. But anyway, there's a weak difference between two trades, which is very like not not it's not similar for me to do something like that, you know. So, um, but regardless, what we have now is the AUD to USD Australian dollar to the United States dollar. I have that on a buy. What two hundred thousand of it? So. It wasn't a crazy big trade, but it was a mid-tier, mid-tier trade. Uh, we bought it at 0.776. It went up to 0.77. So it went up, see there, the, well, 0.7765, went up to 0.7773. A big, big increase. £107 profit out of that. That's all good. Now we have the Bitcoin trade. We decided to buy the one, you know, the one-tenth of a Bitcoin. Uh, we bought five quantity. Uh, both at 815, went up to 845. Uh, so uh, where Bitcoin is now, you can see it's not right here where my cursor is 908. So it's been growing recently. Um, we netted ourselves a nice 103 pound profit off of that one there. And if we have a look, if we if we exclude this one Litecoin, we we've actually like made back the money that we lost with the these two trades that were pro probably one of our worst weeks. Uh, we had while trading, while trading, while trading. However, we're not going to hop into it right about now. I still have all the presets up from last time. So let's have a look at normal Bitcoin. See where it's at. Nine thousand nine nine hundred nine thousand and ninety one dollars for one Bitcoin at the moment. Still, still a bit. Uh, it's, it's stagnated a bit. It, cl it climbed a lot. It climbed from the six thousand dollar mark all the way back up to the nine thousand in not too much time at all. Only, only about a month, which is really awesome when you think about it. Because you know, going up by what thirty three percent of its value in a month—that's that's some, that's some crazy, crazy stuff right there. Um, so uh, if, we have, if we have a look, obviously there's going to be more buyers and sellers. Uh, but you see, over, over the course of the day, it has gone up one point two percent. Which is a fairly, a fairly good increase for the for the day. It's got it's in the red for the week, but like I said, in the month, a thirty percent increase for the month, which is really, really good. Um, and obviously, the year it's stupid, stupid money. So, um, but I think I think I don't think I want to mess with crypto for a little bit. Uh, we just want to stick to the bread and butter and what I'm still trying to. Well, what I am learning. Uh, is j j j the currency pairs. So, so what, what, what I want to learn at the minute is, uh, you know, how, see if we can predict, predict, um, have successful predictions for the whereabouts of these currencies. Uh, so we have, if we have a look, what we can do is we can actually uh, search by top losers and top winners. So Snapchat, is, oh, I, I knew Snapchat took a hit. I've seen new, I've seen my news feed. I knew Snapchat took a hit, but I didn't actually read the percentage. Woo! Twenty one percent. Look at that drop, boys. Oh my god, that is absolutely incredible. That you know, unfortunately, it's something like Snapchat where it's well, we we know it's stupid volatile anyway. But just look, look at these spikes. Just that there, that there, that was over time, and then. Poof, and again, just from that, uh, it's stupid. It's stupid. That's what's absolutely crazy. It's actually been the lowest it's been since since it's hit the market. Since it's hit or hit hit since it's been added onto trading two one two. It's the lowest it's been. So could possibly hit a buy opportunity right now. I'm actually thinking to go back in, go back into uh, some more of the CFDs themselves, some actual you know company stocks, whatever you want to call them, um, because we we don't tend to hold any uh, at the moment. Which is interesting. Um, so the low is 10.94. That was his ultimate low, which was well, this is this level here. It's 10.94. We can bring we can bring this bad boy down. 10.94 uh, is there, which is that that level there. That's that's that's, that's its lowest point. Um, what we could be seeing is 
well, I personally I can't see how it could fall any lower. So we could be seeing an increase into this area here. Anywhere in this area, so we have the support level that now has been reached. It bounced back up instantly, which is what you would expect. Um, it's kind of stagnated a bit, so I am I'm looking to see see if we can get see if we can get our, our, our money's worth here. We could buy 885. Now I do want to hold this for a little bit of a longer period of time. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go for 100. 100 on the buy. So it's not it's not a stupid big trade. Um, but it can actually be fairly, fairly profitable. So if we, you know, if you want, if you say to go up to 0.80, which would be hit 12 again. Uh, well, so we can, we can do 12 and we can do 10.36. So 12 and 10.36. Oh wait, I, 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 I have, it's already drawn for me, what am I doing? Uh, so it's that, that level and that level there. So it's actually like, if it falls further than the stop loss, then pff, it deserves to be at that level, because obviously something isn't isn't really going that too 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 good. So, um, before it for it to hit the take profit, I think it's reasonable that it, it would. Um, and I, I have confidence that it will still come back up. Because... This this has only happened, what, like, not too long ago. It was probably about, well, I suppose we can look in a bit bit more in depth if we really, really wanted to. Um, was that 2nd of May at, well, like, 12 o'clock, something like that? So, but regardless, it's a stupid, stupid job. And you know, just, just seeing the move, but it, 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 with a lot of CFDs, it's like that. It's like that. CH Robinson, <laughs> Gillette, <laughs> everything's buggered. Monster, we all know Monster. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the exact same thing. So, you know, we could do some heavy investment on some CFOs if we really wanted to. Starbucks, Pepsi's had a rough time. Pepsi's had a really rough time recently. Uh, it's actually on the come up though, which is interesting. Uh, but no, it's interesting to see the, uh, the the movement of these of these CFDs. Have a look at the top winners. Garmin. Haven't heard of Garmin. Apple, Fitbit are up there. Fitbit's been doing really well recently. Um, yeah, just, just overall since since the uh, well start of April, it's been doing mad, 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 mad movements. Which is good to see because they were a company that, well, not a company. That stock price was like, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't too good. Well, it's, still, it's no way near as good as it used to be, basically, uh, last year. So, or last year, year before even the early investors. Well, I would even say early investors, the old investors who put their money into it have have lost a lot of money, basically. So, um, but it's good to see that they're on that on this end of the board. Blackberry have gone up, Monier, <laughs> of course. GoPro have gone up as well. GoPro has been one that was also struggling. Um, you know, people criticising there's a bloody penny stock and whatnot. You just off. Oh, but still, look at that. It used to be, even recently, hit 15, 15 stock price, man. That's crazy. Um, oh no, that, that was August last year. For fifteen dollars, gone down to five. I know, I know that. Um, uh, like their 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 annual. I've I've read their annual statements, financial statements and stuff. I've read through of them. What's it called? Like ten? Is it ten Qs? I I think said no, not ten Qs. All right, here's something interesting. So I I was looking at the, some of the CFDs and see how they were doing. Uh, so I picked, I picked AMD, Amazon, Apple, three big 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 companies who, have, who always have a lot of volatility within within their stock price. And looking at the graph, these movements are incredibly similar. Very, very similar. <laughs> like, apart from the price difference, obviously we have fifteen hundred, we have one hundred seventy-six, and we have eleven dollars uh, per unit of stock, whatever you want to call it, um, or whatever you want to call it. Um, the movement is incredibly similar, and it, it, it asks the question: which one's going to retrace first? Which one's going to actually properly go back down first? Um, 
I'm very, very tempted to go on a sell for Amazon because Amazon are under a lot of scrutiny uh, at this current moment in time. Um, you know, that, that Jeff Bezos isn't really the most liked person in the world um, <laughs> for the most part at the current moment in time. But it's, it's Amazon. Like, you expect Amazon to always be bullish. So it's incredibly difficult for me to realise Apple, I, you know, I'm not going to buy it when that, it's at that level already. You know, it, it could we could be seeing a retracement back to the sort of level that it was previously. Because kind of, what was that? Got up ten ten dollars a share. Ten ten points. Ten points. Got up ten points. It's mad. Absolutely mad. AMD. I just don't even know. Okay, so I'm looking at. So as we know, the US dollar has been very very bullish at this moment in time. However, by getting this notification, it means that it could get a lot worse. It could get a lot, lot worse from what I'm saying, from what I'm seeing. Sorry. However, I'm very tempted, or I'm I'm very confident that the the rates will get favour in a way, which will mean that it, uh, the the price will go up even more. Um, so we're seeing some volatility at the minute. Obviously, people are getting in their in their old trains. Um, so I think we're just going to stare at some charts. And see the difference. Here we go. Volatility is coming in. Uh, let's have a look at these bad boys here. Gone up, gone up against there. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just gonna pick these two. Uh, so I really, what I'm really interested about. So it's currently following the same trend. The euro is going down against the dollar, and you have the Japanese yen going up against. Sorry, the Japanese yen going down against the dollar. Um, it's very, very interesting. I want to get involved. But I don't know which way. Uh, story of my life, am I right? So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, my, my plan is to see which way it goes. And then the retracement is what I'm going to aim for. I'm going to aim to hop on the retracement. Uh, to see what's going on, basically. So, sellers and buyers for the USD Japanese Yen. Very, very interesting. It's almost a 50-50 split. 55-45 split over there. Uh, for that one, anyway. Which is interesting. Alright, we're seeing some big volatility now, big, big price changes. It's interesting because this is going down here, but then the USD to the, to the Euro is, is kind of holding up. The Euro is holding against the dollar, but the, the Japanese Yen is just like... And probably because this one's a lot more... We, we, we know how the Japanese Yen is, so... We have got some big boy drops right now from the USD to Japanese Yen. Actually nearly hitting the support, so what we're going to do is we're going to increase... And actually watch this Whew. big drops big 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 drops uh some people are getting some nice profit out of this man it's good um how far will it drop i oh, don't know don't ask me i mean it depends if it, if it hits the support level then i don't think it will go past the support level uh so that's just my two cents i might hop in now thinking about it right we're gonna get involved we're gonna go on the buy i just say i was gonna buy it uh, see if we're gonna hop on with the um, with the ye old volatility. I should have bought at the bottom, but hey ho, nothing really much I can do. Um, so let's buy it there. We have bought it. We have bought the bad boy. Oof, <laughs> heavy drop. <laughs> it's really funny to see. Uh, it's just, you buy it, it just drops. Really interesting to see. Um, so yeah, hopefully, man, that can that can do us some damage. My entry point was horrendous for that part. However, I'm not really too fussed because I, I do think this will win over time. Uh, so yeah, man, I'm very very happy with that trade. And what we're actually going to do, we're going to set up a pending. We are going to set up a pending for when the price hits. Uh, what's that? 109. <laughs> we're down a hundred, bro. We're down a hundred. What the hell? So it's hit, it's hit the little peak, and it's now over the threshold. It's, it's dipping under and over, under and over, so it could cash it out now at the right time for, you know, like 11, and apparently not. It's gone down to minus 50 again, boys. Oh my god, what has happened here? The volatility is insane. It's, well, the this is the thing I like about it, okay? 
This is the, one of the best things I love about uh, Forex trading in markets. We're about to we're about to buy some more. Oh my god, we're about to buy. Some. Oh my god. Oh my Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Holy fuck, we bought more. Fuck me sideways. Oh shit. <laughs> my account's gonna implode. Fuck me, dude. This is insane. It was going so well. It was going so well. This is actually really interesting to see. Uh, oh, here we go. It's going back up. It's going back up. It's going back up. Ah, a little bit of green, a little bit of hope. A little bit of hope. <laughs> Come on, boys. It's in its peak. Not as peak. It's low. Bye, bye. Everyone, bye. There's a thing, as soon as I cut the losses, I know it's going to rebound. I know it's going to hit the support that's down there. I know it's going to rebound. Look, there's a support there. What, well, fuck? I found the first line of support. Look, right there. That's the support. It should hit there and then rock it back up. Which is kind of doing. Well, we're blast off. Blast off. Fuck, dude. It's really, really interesting to see the movement that's going on. The first entry was horrible. Absolutely disgusting. This one here isn't as bad, even though it should have technically been opened here. Because that's where the first support was. So it broke through the first support, fair play. Open another one when it hits the second support here. Which unfortunately I couldn't do. I could only open it there uh, because that's where I thought it was going to rebound up, which it didn't. And I can't, I can't really open it anymore now. Look, I can't. I physically can't. Look, I can't. I can't. I have insufficient funds. I can't do it. I can only open. Wait, how many could I open? Seventy. I can open seventy-five thousand. Seventy-five thousand. That's that's all. That's all my margin will allow me to do. Um, Right, this is a new Fed statement everyone was talking about. Um, this is a comparison of Wednesday's FOMC statement with the one issued by the Fed previous policy making meeting on March 21st. Text removed from the March statement is in red with a horizontal line through the middle. Text, text appearing for the first time is in red and underlined. Black text appears in both statements. So information met in the committee met in March. Yes, new one. Job gains have been strong on average. In recent months, the unemployment rate has stayed low. Recent data suggests a growth of household spending moderated from strong fourth quarter. Oh, wait, sorry. Recent data suggests a growth, a growth of household spending moderated from its strong fourth quarter. Uh while business fixed investment continued to grow strongly. On a 12 month basis, both overall inflation and inflation for items other than food and energy have moved close to 2%. Okay. Market based measures of inflation compensation remain low. Survey based measures of longer term inflation expectations are little changed on balance. Consistent with a statutory mandate, the committee seeks to foster maximum employment and price stability. All that has been removed. The committee expects that blah 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 blah. Uh, inflation on 12 month basis is expected to run near the committee's symmetric 2% objective over the medium term. So they got rid of move up in coming months to, stab to stabilise. It just got changed. Uh, it's a quite a base change, and that I say exactly the same, which is interesting. Um, I suppose that's just like 
a normal normal thing though right there's a lot of change in the in that uh that new, that new one which is which is good and oh my god we're back at we're back at the, the this is where this is is the second support first support second support we're at the second support it's it ha this is the support because it's not falling under it uh as yet if it falls under it i'm gonna be fucked so uh i don't really know but it seems to be holding out at that support which is good uh because i don't know people should really be buy a lot of people should be buying into it now to be pushing the price back up uh but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave this on a little cliffhanger by saying this is gonna be the end of the episode what we have so far is 688 668 is volatile around about 650 pounds in negative negative <laughs> results so far my entries should have been a lot better it's a lesson lesson learned especially when you're dealing with this stuff like this it's only actually probably like the third or fourth time i've been actively trading during a market where a big thing has happened and obviously the fed um the fed statement is obviously a, it's a big thing isn't it for the for the dollar and uh, whatever else it affects so we're gonna leave this on a little cliffhanger so uh so yeah and we also have a snapchat trade it's currently a negative seven so everything's a bit negative right about now but we're gonna hope this can turn around if i if i what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna see if i'm gonna take this out with like a negative 300 we're gonna wait at, wait it out for now um so yeah if you did enjoy please make sure you leave a like comment down below subscribe to the channel and yeah i'll be back uh well tomorrow with uh updates on how this went so yeah have a nice day stay safe it's a massive i never do this um but yeah have a nice day stay safe and peace